Hi everyone! I'm going to start my speech the same way I did last year. For those who know me, I'm Caitlin Horky. And for those who don't know me, I'm still Caitlin Horky. I'm running for student body president, so let me tell you a little about myself. Two truths and one lie style. I play tennis, I'm a sophomore, and I ended world poverty. It's a lie because I'm a junior. And more importantly, I'm going to tell you why you should vote me as your student body president. You want someone with experience to be your student body president. You don't want a newcomer to student politics, especially next year when the president will represent the entire student body. It's unfair to have people in student government positions when they don't get anything done for you. I'm willing to change that as your president. I'm not the kind of person to do this for an application. I'm doing this because we can do better. Even though I'm going into my senior year, I have friends in every grade and I'm always willing to meet more. I'm a very approachable person and will be a voice for the whole student body. I will listen to any ideas that you have and bring these to our meetings so I can help to make these a reality. Besides listening to your ideas, I'll always be a friend to anyone and be quick to help if you need advice, support, or a matchmaker. My success rate's like over 90%. Whether you met years back or five minutes ago, you can always count on me to be there for you. Currently, I'm a student council spirit leader who's the life of the class and in charge of all things fun. So you may ask, what did you do for us? As the spirit leader, I have done a lot of behind the scenes work to make your year more fun. I've sparked discussions of many ideas I have for events coming soon, but I'll start off with some past events that were my ideas. First off, remember the semi-formal dance from last Friday? You should all remember because we got breathalyzed. Semi-formal was my idea to make the spring part of the school year more fun. Since we usually have no dance between the winter and prom, semi-formal fit perfectly between as a fun night out. Next, remember the lip syncing contest? Guess whose idea that was? I knew it would be a blast to have a live lip syncing contest, and we are so excited to host our next one. Also, I've spent many months lobbying for the student body to have a volleyball team. Through many phone calls, emails, contacting coaches, surveys with over 50 commitments to play, and even a persuasive essay, my passion for the sport has called the attention of the athletic administration. I'm so happy to announce that this fall, we finally have our school's first ever girls volleyball team. I am so excited for this season and to meet all of the players. Even being new to Pope as a sophomore, I was able to accomplish all of this through my passion and care about student government. Now let's think about future events that we'll have if I'm your president. I have so many great ideas that can come to life with your vote. For almost a year now, I've been planning night festivals at school where students can go out on a Friday or Saturday night for a bunch of games and activities. In the fall, we'd host a harvest fest on the athletic fields where there would be bounce houses, pumpkin carving, food trucks, spike ball, volleyball, and a Halloween movie night. In the spring, we'd host a spring version of this called the Blossom Fest where there would be a seniors versus teachers sports game, food trucks, more games like spike ball and volleyball, and a movie night. There are lots more movie nights to come. Next, I'd make sure to have a lot more themed sports games. Some of our new ideas for themes next year are Moses Parting the Red Sea, Whiteouts and Blackouts, and so many more themes like pajamas, country, neon, tuxedos and dresses, frat, and camo. Speaking of themes, as president, I would host a few pep rallies throughout the year. One theme idea for a pep rally is Color Wars, where each grade from 9 to 12 will be given a neon color like green, pink, or blue. A pep rally in the gym, including a bunch of contests, races, and games would take place where each grade fights to win through contests like a lip-syncing contest, small talent show, obstacle courses, and more. As your president, I will work my hardest to make this school year the most fun and memorable you've ever had. If I got all this done not even being president, imagine what we can do together if you vote Caitlin Horky for student body president. Let's make next year amazing.